January 27th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Genesis chapter 47 from the Old Testament Joseph went and told Pharaoh, My father, my brothers, their flocks and herds, and all that they own have arrived from the land of Canaan. They are now in the land of Goshen. He took five of his brothers and introduced them to Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to Joseph's brothers, What is your occupation? They said to Pharaoh, Your servants take care of flocks, just as our ancestors did. Then they said to Pharaoh, We have come to live as temporary residents in the land. There is no pasture for your servants' flocks because the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. So now please let your servants live in the land of Goshen. Pharaoh said to Joseph, Your father and your brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Settle your father and your brothers in the best region of the land. They may live in the land of Goshen. If you know of any highly capable men among them, put them in charge of my livestock. Then Joseph brought in his father Jacob and presented him before Pharaoh. Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to Jacob, How long have you lived? Jacob said to Pharaoh, All the years of my travels are a hundred and thirty. All the years of my life have been few and painful. The years of my travels are not as long as those of my ancestors. Then Jacob blessed Pharaoh and went out from his presence. So Joseph settled his father and his brothers. He gave them territory in the land of Egypt, in the best region of the land, the land of Ramesses, just as Pharaoh had commanded. Joseph also provided food for his father, his brothers, and all his father's household, according to the number of their little children. But there was no food in all the land, because the famine was very severe. The land of Egypt and the land of Canaan wasted away because of the famine. Joseph collected all the money that could be found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan as payment for the grain they were buying. Then Joseph brought the money into Pharaoh's palace. When the money from the lands of Egypt and Canaan were used up, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us food! Why should we die before your very eyes because our money has run out? Then Joseph said, If your money is gone, bring your livestock, and I will give you food in exchange for your livestock. So they brought their livestock to Joseph, and Joseph gave them food in exchange for their horses, the livestock of their flocks and herds and their donkeys. He got them through that year by giving them food in exchange for livestock. When that year was over, they came to him the next year and said to him, We cannot hide from our Lord that the money is used up, and the livestock and the animals belong to our Lord. Nothing remains before our Lord except our bodies and our land. Why should we die before your very eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land in exchange for food, and we with our land will become Pharaoh's slaves. Give us seed that we may live and not die. Then the land will not become desolate. So Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. Each of the Egyptians sold his field, for the famine was severe. So the land became Pharaoh's. Joseph made all the people slaves from one end of Egypt's border to the other end of it. But he did not purchase the land of the priest, because the priest had an allotment from Pharaoh, and they ate from that allotment that Pharaoh gave them. That is why they did not sell their land. Joseph said to the people, Since I have bought you and your land today for Pharaoh, here is seed for you. Cultivate the land. When you gather in the crop, give one-fifth of it to Pharaoh, and the rest will be yours for seed for the field, and for you to eat, including those in your households and your little children. They replied, You have saved our lives. You are showing us favor, and we will be Pharaoh's slaves. So Joseph made it a statute, which is in effect to this day throughout the land of Egypt. One-fifth belongs to Pharaoh. Only the land of the priests did not become Pharaoh's. Israel settled in the land of Egypt, in the land of Goshen. 
and they owned land there. They were fruitful and increased rapidly in number. Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. The years of Jacob's life were 147 in all. The time for Israel to die approached, so he called for his son Joseph and said to him, If now I have found favor in your sight, put your hand under my thigh and show me kindness and faithfulness. Do not bury me in Egypt, but when I rest with my fathers, carry me out of Egypt and bury me in their burial place. Joseph said, I will do as you say. Jacob said, Swear to me that you will do so. So Joseph gave him his word. Then Israel bowed down at the head of his bed. God, I found the cutest thing today. It was a prayer written by a young child to you that said the following. Dear God, please take care of my daddy, mommy, sister, brother, my doggy, and me. Oh, please take care of yourself, God. If anything happens to you, we're going to be in a big mess. Amen. <laughs> Boy, that's the truth. God, today I just pray thanksgiving over all that you give us. In a parallel to the people thanking Joseph for taking care of them and, and working with them through the famine and trying to help them out and figure things out, uh, sometimes in a little bit creative way, I just want to thank you for providing for me. You overwhelm my life with blessings. I wake up in a warm bed. I get to go to a closet and choose from a variety of clothes. I get to have my choice of food for breakfast and then sit down at a computer, which means I have electricity, and do work and run a company. I thank you for the education I was able to have, especially as a female in this world in order to be able to run my company. I thank you for the blessing of having a company of my own. I thank you for the amazing friends that I have that support and encourage me, my big cheerleaders that help me do daily video Bible. Without them, there is no way that I could get through all of these videos for you. Ah, they are the, definitely there to help, help strengthen me throughout the day. God, throughout the day, just let me be incredibly aware of all of the amazing blessings that you just pour into my life every moment of the day. From the safety of driving my car, to the kindness of people at the store, to the beautiful and gorgeous nature that you have given us here on earth to live among. God, I just truly overwhelmed at how well you take care of us. That even, even in my selfishness when I complain about not being able to find something to wear or there's nothing in the cupboard, when there's four million things in the cupboard, there's just nothing I wanted to eat because I'm a spoiled American. Help me to change my heart and always count those blessings that you give us, that you overwhelm us with. God, the biggest blessing that you ever gave me was choosing me to be your child. And then sending your son down to die on a cross to, to clear away all of my sins and make me clean again. Me, who doesn't deserve anything in the slightest. You did that. Because you love me with a love that I don't even understand. but I'm grateful for. Thank you, God. Thank you so much for all the amazing blessings in my life. I love you very much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.